All right, we are back on a very rainy day here in Kingdom Come Deliverance. As promised, out for vengeance back at the main quest. I dropped off our loot back at the Rat Tie Mill. So, you know, all that random stuff we stole and just some kind of heavy stuff we were sitting on in general in the last episode. And now we are headed to uh, Vranik. Probably saying that wrong. And, uh... We'll see how this goes. I've been warned we are about to enter a dangerous area and that I should decide what I want to have on my person and what to leave on my horse for safekeeping. And I should save before entering the city. Fair enough. I feel like I'm entering Razir right now. This is, uh, this is exciting. I think I definitely got here earlier and they gave me a warning that this was some sort of point of no return. So, it's about to get real, folks. That's what I'm trying to warn you. Still a couple loose ends in terms of quests, activities, things that wasn't mostly fetch quests, stuff I'm not too jazzed up about. We have certainly We've paid our dues. We've done 43 episodes. I think it's safe to get back to the main quest here. We are infiltrating the enemy's base. It's similar, yes, to when we, before we colonized Fluffington. And there it is up there. All right. Well, there's no better way to prepare for this situation than pounding some schnapps and saving the game. Nice to have a buzz on before you enter. We're all dirty, but it's all kinds of rainy today, so... What you gonna do? And you know what? Lesser Henrys might sneak in under the cover of darkness. Not our Henry. But... I don't know what you should do. You want to hang out? That's your business. You want to come in? That's your business. I don't know. Can abort some quests in progress. Well, maybe that's what they told me. I don't know. Because this is going to be... Well, this is going to be something. We've been warned. We're going in anyway. Use it. Use that door. What do you want? Murder everyone. I want to go inside. Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? My stinger in your skull if you don't... Oh, yeah, I do have the die. I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. <laughs> Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house. At the top. Eric, eh? So far, so good. We're fitting in. Thanks to our special die. That was easy. Now oh, I better take a look around here. Yeah. Let's see what they're working with. Scout out the camp, the enemy forces, and report to Eric in the camp. Their tent situation is pretty sorted. This might be a good place to oversee what they got going on. Oh yeah. All right, there's one guy. This shouldn't be two. All right, two guys. All right, well, all right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. There's a guy at the gate. There's Eric. That's 13. Man, I got a few guys here. Plenty of tents. <laughs> it's weird that we have the option to talk to the bandits. Sup? 
Have you seen Eric? How are you? Do you see that big ruined house on the hill? That's where he usually is. His arm is that bright, you can't miss him. Fritz? Fritz, is that you? The bandit here now? I know that voice anywhere. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. Yeah, they're not messing around here at Vandrick. This must be where the commanders are. It's the house. Yep, Eric should be in here. Oh, thought he had a mustache like Colbia. Colbia. What do you want? He's like my age. Kozlik sent me. Ah, oh, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery. Ah, the yes, monastery. Sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Huh. Well done. I heard about you. And quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. Huh. So can you handle a sword? Can I handle a sword? Not really. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. What's that name? Just go downhill, familiar. as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. Captain Bernard taught me while I was working for Sir Ratzik. I mean, wait, no, I'm just. I grew up in the circus. I'm just really good with the sword. Don't worry about how I know. About swords. Ah, jeez. Remember, I'm nervous. I eat. We're all full up. Yeah, right? We know that name, Banyak. Those tents look pretty impressive. These fellows aren't poor, but not for sure. They're colorful. Wait a minute. Are you Combat Master Vanya? Hi, <laughs> that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Hmm. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. That's gonna say, was this hey, guy at Scarlet's? Don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. The guy we train with. Before things went down, we know each. I'm wearing a helmet. Oh god, I don't know. This has already been a really awkward amount of time. Well, I don't know you. I've never seen you before in my life. Hmm. Really? I'd stake my neck. I know you from somewhere. Well, never mind. My memory isn't what it used to be. I'm Henry. Too much drink. <laughs> or not enough. All right, let's see what you're good for. He definitely you know won't remember me from Scouts because I sucked back then. There. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. Like, no, I thought you were someone else. Someone who sucked with swords. I've got you like a rabbit. What? We're just... I thought we were just training. Ho <laughs> ho! Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm not Henry. Not the one you remember. I'm Henry 2.0. Jesus, you got me! You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. <laughs> so I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak has passed it. I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. He's all well, winded. I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like yeah. this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. Oh, I think hey? I've got it. Thanks. <laughs> that's it? That's the whole tip? Just stand like I'm going to take a fart? Alright. Yeah, that guy. That's the guy we were training with. 
back in Scarlet's. I just like to point out he's not the reason that we are the killing machine that we are today. Yeah, supposed to take advice from a guy who we just cut down in like two swings. I don't think so. But yeah, fart stance. I'll, uh, it's in the memory bank. Crouching tiger. Fart stance. Sir, may I... What is it? Uh-oh. I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... Oh. What's the matter? Lost your tongue? Uh-oh. I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Ratzik's people, Eric? Oh! Ratzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? <gasps> My sword! Am I right, young man? What the... You bastard. <laughs> sort of... He's coming round. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, what? is alive. You even know him. What? It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. What? Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well... Best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzig will crush you, and I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realise that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. That is a nice arrangement so for you. meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Have you never heard of Lord Suckle of Lamberg or Sir Hinek, the Dry Devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. 
Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. Right. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! Ugh. Knock some manners Ugh. into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. Just give me a chance to fight this guy, bare-knuckled. We can hold our own. Son of a, what are they talking about? Ratsick, our father? What are they talking about, people? Henry. Henry. Wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really works. You've over. I wish I told you the truth Here. now. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? It's Bishop. What? You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing happened. Seriously. Quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of here alive. So do you want my help or not? Yes. Is that a rhetorical question? Yeah. Get me out of here. I need my stuff, though. Where's my stuff? Try and get your own equipment what back. What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Ishtvan's bruiser. Uh... Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. That's fair. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. Yeah. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. Henry, make a deal and kill him later, all right? What about my possessions? That's all I need. Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. Hmm. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. Sounds like Christoph Waltz. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang you. <laughs> and naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. I mean, I buy that. I don't know why we have to keep pressing that. He wants to get rich. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? Alright, I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. <laughs> All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Oh, God. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. Hey. So that's all. Worked in Shawshank. First, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs 
everywhere. So try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. <laughs> Taco night's the best night to escape, don't you understand? <sighs> or the day after Taco night, I should say. All right, I need my stuff. I need my stinger and my backup stinger and all my sweet armor. And uh, that's a good point. We have no schnapps right now. But I pride myself on being pretty darn sneaky. We got nothing. Sense of smell. Nice doggy. Brood against all odds. Definitely gonna need that around here. Oh, that's my dog's perk. <laughs> All right, B, try to get my equipment back. We should be pretty sneaky. Uh, is my stuff in that room? One nice thing is they don't know that I'm Wolverine and I will slowly get my health back as time goes by. Oh, <gasps> save your schnapps. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, just one drink to steady the ship. Oh, uh, they didn't take my, uh, didn't take my ears and my all my various bones and everything. That's nice of them. All right, we have a safe state, people. Clutch. Just in case they find us. Oh yeah, the Nighthawk potion we'll see in the dark without a torch. I guess we should pound one of those. <laughs> Are we hungry, by the way? No, we're not hungry. Okay. that the light goes through the wood. Very handy when you're sneaking about. My stuff is in a locked chest in one of the buildings. If only I had one lock pick. That's all I would need. A little sneaky, like they're pointing the, uh, the bees in that guy's office in Eric's room. You would kind of be like, okay, that's where we're going, you know? Theoretically, I could take one of these guys down. Take their armor and give myself a fighting chance. Even if I'm making some noise. I'm half tempted to try that. This is back in my... Kind of see at night. It's going to turn around. guy out of the way. I don't think anyone's coming back here.
he was going to wake up eventually. Theoretically, when we're wearing all this stuff, like, they, there's no way they could possibly know that's Henry, right? Something tells me video game logic. They'll see right through that. <laughs> I'm wearing his exact outfit, though. I mean, come on. Just walk and be like, I'm here for Henry's stuff, sir. Don't ask why. <laughs> Whatever, we have that save state. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Well, now. Wait, wait, Henry. Okay. Come here. You'll no one, die for that. No one else has to know about this, right? This is just a gentleman's hammer fest. Taking the bait. Oh, yeah. Good whack. All right. Just slowly kill everyone here. And then once we get back to dad, apparently, he'd be like, all right, how many men have they got, Henry? I'd be like, oh, I killed them all, by the way. That's a good point, Surround It. When you did it, you couldn't do any of this stuff. <laughs> Me, I'm having the time of my life. Oh, look, and we're back in the Groshen business here. We have 27 Groshen to our name. This guy have, like, better armor and stuff? I'm curious. Let's go in terms of protection. That's better. That's better. We might not have even had anything there. Okay. It's better. What chain mail have I got on right now? I think this is a better chain mail. Let's just look and see if anything turns blue. Okay, so now that, oh, that was better. Okay, let's just drop this other stuff. Is someone gonna come in here even? They might not. We have like all their plans right here. That's pretty great. Don't have a lockpick, son of a bitch. The one thing we need. Take the rug. Do that one for uh, and drink. Even have a torch now. I don't know how he knew that was me. Again, that seems a little suspect, but that's what it is. My kingdom for a lockpick. There's a lockpick around here somewhere. All right. Fair enough. I don't think anyone's gonna go in there. Like I said. Now we need to be careful because I kinda, I think we only have the one left, right? Save your schnapps. Oh, you know, we've made good progress. I like where we are. I'm gonna pound one. I honestly like my chances just fighting my way out at this point. <laughs> Stinger or no stinger. That's still the best we're going to do is that axe right now. Oh, can I use that shield while we're at it? Oh, I got my torch. Still 
kind of sneaky. And we have that potion still. Lockpick. Ah, easy if you have a lockpick. Man. There's a guy in there. There is a guy in there. No one. No one at all. All right. That was all that stuff. I feel like one of these guys might have... As long as they don't bring, like, the whole... place down on me... And alert all the guards. And I feel like I can fight these guys. Maybe get a lockpick out of them. Damn it. Is that a better axe? I don't know. It's not a better axe. Drop him. You want to go? Thankfully, all these guys are all like, I can kill him myself. And our Wolverine perk has gotten us our health back. Headcracker. I love it. All right, both these guys have to die. I'll squash you like the louse you are. Huh? Oh. Kill this guy without even pulling a weapon out. That will never get old for me. Never get old. Who's got a lock pick? <laughs> Don't make me poke you with my axe. I did curb stop that guy. He had that coming. Oh wow, this is this might be some better stuff. Take all that. I know we're overburdened. Oh god, I hate it when they stare at me with those dead eyes. Quite literally. Huh, still no lock picks. One of these guys might have a savior schnapps on him though. Oh, better sword. I'll take that. A lot of these guys have armor though. I might be better off with my hammer right now, honestly. All right. The idea is we're just gonna take all this loot and try on everything, make sure we have the best stuff equipped, and then throw the rest away. All right, so that's an upgrade. <laughs> we might not need our stuff after a while. <laughs> we just clear out this camp. Just like, oh no, I found better everything. Just from the wardrobe. Everyone here. It's from the, the Vranic collection or wherever we are. So let's drop all this stuff now. Oops. And that. It's weird how they keep like reorganizing stuff. The hose and the gauntlets and that. I think we have a lot of weapons too that we're sitting on. Alright, I'll stop looking for more armor now. I think I'm happy with what we got. We're looking pretty good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I do want my stinger back. And my St. George sword. You can't get that anywhere. <laughs> they don't sell these anymore. It's very rare. So you think there's a lockpick in this area? I mean, clearly the place to get the key is should be somewhere in this area, I would think. All right, we're looking pretty good now. Uh, let's get rid of this Kalman shield and that axe. And that's a better, so yeah, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. So this is where we talk to Eric. I believe. Damn it. Got around here. I already looted this guy, right? Yeah. Is that is that the key hidden under his little, his little, what is that? Oh my God, that is sneaky. Good look. Wow. Okay. Again, I wish I could have lockpicked this stuff, but I'll take it. Oh, it's all our stuff. All right. <laughs> well, now let's uh, <laughs> let's literally drop everything. Well, all of our weapons. Just getting undressed now. We just went to all this trouble. Now we're just taking it all back off. That's fine. Good luck. So much food picked up. Take it all, and now we can get properly equipped. Against, like, I think we should be sneaking, but we haven't this far. Pop my ring back on. So let's maybe just, uh, let's get all our numbers up here. Oh yeah. 5, 20, 39, 44. Definitely didn't have these numbers with the uh, locals stuff. Oops, oops. Don't put on any red stuff here. There we go. All good? All right. Ah, oh, Stinger, I missed you. I want the bloody one. <laughs> Obviously. And that should be it, right? Yeah, St. George is technically better, but... Not if you're... Not if you're stabbing. And we have lockpicks again, so we can find out what he has in this other chest. Ah, oh, that felt good. Ooh, that's fancy. Might as well rob the guy. Oh, did I just take everything? Oh, that's fine. Might as well rob the guy after everything he uh, put through me. Put put me through. Put through me. That guy tried to put his fist through me. All right. I have one savior schnapps left. I like that I have my stuff, but I guess I know where my stuff is in case this goes pear-shaped. Were there other, was there like one more chest somewhere? It's probably not a big deal. I'm not gonna sweat it. We got our stuff back, that's all that matters. What's my best hammer? That's pretty good. Maybe that's what we should be rocking. Bailiff's mace. 
case anybody stops us on the way out. Yeah, sneak in my patoot. Um. All right, I'm sure there's nothing to do if we go out there, right? Like, I don't know. I think I would be depriving everyone watching this of possibly some interesting content if I didn't at least peek over in that direction. I think we're supposed to sneak out to the left behind me and jump on that uh, pile of poop, in which case we'll <laughs> need to make a stop off at the, uh, the bathhouse. But first... Color me curious, man. I just gotta know. So we pound at that save. I don't know how we do that when he's got like his mask over his face. Wow. First time we've seen that animation. Yeah. Wow, look at that jump. Alright. Let's do it. They probably have like a thousand guys, right? This would be like fighting my way out of rat tie after I've been kind of naughty. I still have to try it. Ooh, mace went up. That's good. That's going to be clutch as I'm fighting this army of dudes. Yeah, they're coming up that way. I like he still does the, the jab even with the, uh, the hammer. Oh. Oh, knocking them out was allowed in your game. That makes sense. Yeah, I need to stop stabbing and more swinging. That's how you use the big old knockout hammer. Much better on the armor. That guy's down. I'm over here! Fucking hell! This might be boring if you there's just a thousand guys and they just keep coming. Again, I just want to know. I want to see more of the camp at night. That's all. That guy's down. Core of our fix. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound flattering. Bring it on! Bring it on! That guy's about to go. That guy's down. Oh, that guy's about to go too. Come here. That guy's down. That guy's down. They're just shooting arrows at me at this point. Stop it. Oh fuck you, Kerr. You can't hide from me. That's honorable. Hit the man with arrows. Like, yeah, I think it's fine. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> I know, turning the spy report and like, how many men have they got? Well, they had 100. Note the past tense. I'm 
Run, Henry. Use that Wolverine. Well, I have it. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Where's my uh, bandages? All of them. There we go. Now I can start to get my health back. Slowly. Look, I'm back in my cell. No, thank you. I don't want any. Can we lock the door? Blood vision. Still beat that guy. I got the last gas perk. Clutch. All right, beat that guy too. Ah! <laughs> I'm in. I don't think I did buy any healing potions. I'm used to just like, can't delay, no time to lose. I'm used to naturally healing based on my abilities. I don't think I have any healing potions. Padfoot potion? Oh, pickpocketing. Lazarus. I have the important ones. Adds 100 health, dispels, oh, okay. Interesting. I only have one of those, though. There's my digestive potion. All right. I think I've I've had my fill of Eric's hospitality. I think we can leave now. Nice if I can, I could sneak out of here at this point. <laughs> sneak with uh without alerting anybody else. Oh. Uh. My health will go back up. I want to use that Lazarus potion. Yeah, I just, just want to save it. I don't know where I can get another Lazarus potion. I don't know where I got this one, to be fair. And you can see my health already going back up. Henry's getting stronger. By the minute. I love it. <laughs> love that dagger move. You look like you've had enough tonight. You need to get some rest, buddy. Oh, you made a business out of crafting and selling Lazarus potions to make money in your game. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't kill or steal. Makes making money difficult, I can imagine. Is there a guy? somewhere. Crouching perk. As long as we're not moving. They're gonna walk right by me though, aren't they? It's 
might not be the best spot. We have a little health back. Could probably hold our own right here. Didn't hear anything. What's going on there? That's where we're headed, I guess. <laughs> Did I pick those up? I might have some of those already, the marigold concoctions. Oh, uh, I guess they were back in that. Yeah, I do have the injuries. I have the torso and the hand injury. Let's grab those from the uh, chest in here. Well, it's just one. Got my digestive potion. A little bit off, maybe. We're already about, we're at about 60% again. friend. Yep. Hands working now. And the torso injury is healing itself as well. Good call. It's not instant. out of here I think I could have kept going but <laughs> you know what let's quit while we're ahead we barely survived that with our life thankfully we had the uh, last gas perk there I think we can have our torch out at this point. It's fine. That was quite exciting, though. I like that. Trapped here in the shrubbery. Ugh! You're all right, Henry. Very steep hill. I didn't even see that much uh, shite. It was quite gripping. Made our daring escape. We did it our, our Henry style too. Killed a few folks. Stealth killed a few folks. At our against all odds moment. Quite gripping. Meet back up with Zibshek or whatever, whatever his name is. I don't mind paying him a little bit. I mean, you know, he's a wank for all that stuff that happened earlier. So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. <laughs> Get lost. I don't know. I mean, we'd be dead without him. But he also left me for dead to begin with. So, did you really think I'd reward you for betraying the people you betrayed me to? Go to hell and be thankful you're still alive. Hell yeah. You bastard! You gave your word. You think you can cross me and walk away? <laughs> think again, you rat! I... You're not curious as to how I got all my armor and everything back, buddy? I fought my way out. What makes you think? I want the bloody one. <laughs> Ooh. Wait a long time for that one, buddy. A long time. Don't betray Henry. Ah. 
Anyway, a footnote. That's what that guy is. And a long line of ass kicking. So yeah, Ratzigs are dead? We, we about to talk to him or what, what are we loading right now? She was spitting on that guy's corpse. Okay. <laughs> Definitely render that in. What about your boy, Radzik? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow. Henry. Father? Oh! <laughs> I told you he had balls! Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranjik. But now I know what they're planning. Bit tied up. <laughs> What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. Hmm. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly, and you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? <laughs> when I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! <laughs> How many men has he got? Worse than he More did than before. Hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Dibish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranig tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. <laughs> and she's about to, to die. Hey, money. Yeah, that guy went to the Bond bad guy school of uh, planning. <laughs> Tell them your entire plans. Completely overconfident. And then they escape. And they're like, Oops. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor... Tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. I doubt that. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. But... I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now, we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. 
I know, Father. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Oh, good looks around it. This part's time. We have to get to Tallenberg. Quick, quick. That's exactly what we'll do. Well, do I have time to get my stuff fixed up? I suppose I can pop in the town, right? And just get all my armor kind of, you know, tempered up. And Hopefully. We'll take a break here, though. We'll pick up in the next episode as we race up to Talonberg in order to notify him of the upcoming massive battle tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Exciting. And payback, yes. That's the quest I was hoping for. That's the quest law <laughs> name. I don't think Bernie's going to have anything we want, I'll be honest, but... We will find out. I just want to make sure we're not going to miss anything here at the end. In the next episode. But wait for it. Oh, heck yeah. That's not hundreds of men, but uh, yeah. All right, we'll pick up in the next episode. Right from this point, I will see you then.